hello guys so this is question 2.38 and the statement here is that four married couples have bought eight seats in the same row for a concert okay uh, so in how many ways can they be seated okay uh, so we have to find out the number of ways in which those can be seated together in such a way that we have different options so in option a we have no restrictions that in which manner they want to sit so therefore uh, let me again suppose a complete box here so let me have this box and let me have different seats here and these are basically the eight number of seats okay so these are the eight number of seats uh, so what is here these are the number of seats and in order to sit here we have different couples so let me write those couples here so these are the couples which we have here so these are the couples okay so this is basically the c1 c2 c3 and c4 these are different couples and in these couples we have the uh, male one and female one similarly male 2 female 2 male 3 female 3 and male 4 female okay so these are the couples here we have no restriction that is in what manner they want to sit uh, so therefore in this uh, first location how many choices would i have here so this is the first location so any of the eight persons here can sit so here i will have eight choices so if one of them will occupy this space the number of choices will be here seven if two have occupied their seats the number of choices left here will be six and so on up to and until at the last location i will have only one choice uh, left for the person okay so therefore i also have to multiply them together okay and when i will multiply it what i will get here i will get eight factors okay so these are the different ways in which they can be seated together uh, similarly in part b if each couple is to sit together okay so uh, in part b we have to see that these are the scenarios that each and every couple has to sit together so therefore what i have to do in these eight cases i have to write them in such a way that each slot will be occupied by a couple so it can be couple one couple two couple three couple four and so on okay uh, so this is the first part which is composed of two seats so let me write here these are the two seats so this is basically for an first couple this is for the second couple this is uh, for the third couple okay and uh, let me have this one for the fourth couple okay uh, so when seating them together how many choices will be here for the couple so here uh, any of the four couples can be seated together so here the number of choices would be four okay similarly at this location when one couple will be seated at this first spot how many couples will be left to occupy this space so three will be left similarly when two will be occupy will occupy these uh, spots how many couples will be left so two will be left and here we will have one okay so multiplying them together and i will get here four factorial so these are the different number of ways where couples can be seated together but here in each of these uh, choices we can see that either it can be male and female or it can be female and male here as well okay so therefore in order to do so again we have to consider for each of the couple what we have to consider this part in which for the first part we will have two choices male and female and for the other one we will have only one choice left so therefore we will have here two okay so for each of them we will have two 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 
and 2. So each of them, for each of them, I will have two choices. So therefore, I have to multiply them together as well. So apart from the couple location, we will also have this one and it would be what? This would be 2 raised to the power 4. So that is what? That is 2 to 4, 4 to 8, 8 to 16. So therefore, I will have here 16. Okay. So now after it, what I have to do, I have to multiply this one and this one together because these has to follow uh, accordingly. So therefore, writing it here, I will get, I will get here 16 multiplied by 4 factorial and 4 factorial 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2. So that is 24. So what answer I will get here, here I will get. 384 and that is the answer of my question part b okay so if each couple has to get together so that is the answer of uh, this problem so let me remove uh, them here as well and let me proceed to the part c here so in part c uh, we are asked that if all the men sit together to the right of all the women okay so what would be the scenario so men want to sit at the right side of it so if this one is the here and here this is the right side this is the left side so if all the men want to sit here we will have this combination in which all the female will sit here okay and all the men will be uh, seated here so therefore what i have to do here i will have four seated uh, seats at the right left side and similarly four seats at the right side here as well so now uh, filling it how many choices would i have here so i have four females as well so therefore the number of choices for the four seat here would be four similarly if one female will be seated here the number of choices here will be left would be three similarly here we will have two are seated so the number of choices here would be two and here we will have one these have to be multiplied together and here we will have four factorial okay so these are for what these are for the female okay similarly for the males to sit at the right side what do i have to do i have to make the choices accordingly so at this location how many choices would i have here so i will have four males here similarly if one is seated here the number of male uh, left for this uh, spot would be three similarly if two are seated the number of male left for this one are two and so on here so these has to be multiplied together as well and these are basically for the male okay and the number of choices here will be four factorial okay so after getting all this i have to multiply them together as well so here it would be what so 4 multiplied by 3 is 12 12 multiplied is by 2 is 24 so 24 multiplied by 24 and here the number of choices will be 576 okay so that is basically the answer of part here so uh, i hope you have understood the conceptual overview of this question as well i will see you with the similar type of questions in our upcoming video so see you soon